Hi guys, this is Erica coming at you with another haul. Um, so we did a little shopping today, a little unexpected shopping. So of course, I I hope I didn't blow my budget. So um, anyways, my monthly budget, let's just say. So uh, we stopped at Kroger, Walmart, and an Asian market. So I'm going to start here with the Kroger haul. And we just got a few things here. So let's start off. We just got plain old sour cream. It's for my husband. We'll make a dip. I think we'll make his spinach dip with that. Uh, Ken's Steakhouse. Um, my sweet Vidalia onion dressing. And then my husband wanted the country French. Back here are some of my items. These are the items that I use because I am trying to eliminate all dairy in my diet um, because of, uh, I'm very sensitive to it and I'm just, I'm sick and tired of being sick. So I'm a little scared of this guy right here, this tofu sour cream, but I'm going to try it. I'm going to try it. I'm going to try it and, uh, see, see if it's good. I've never had it. Let me know in the comments if any of you guys have had it. I'm probably going to try to make something with this in the next, I don't know, day or two. It depends. Um, I have some of these mixes that I bought from um, from like a farmer's market. They're like dip mixes. So um, I don't know if I, I might use those. It depends. So the next one I have is this, uh, I guess it's spelled, it, I guess it's pronounced like Daya. I don't know, Daya what have you, um, mozzarella style shreds. I do like this stuff. I do not like it um, as it is. Like I can't just put it, sprinkle it in something. It's kind of got a different texture than cheese. It's not as soft. So, but it does melt one, it, it, it just, it melts beautifully. So um, <clears throat> I do like it melted. And I made some nachos with it yesterday, salsa, of, of some shredded cheese and some of the um, tortilla chips and it was really good so here is the so delicious dairy-free coconut um, milk alternative uh, yogurt alternative so this is the key lime pie flavored key lime I like this brand I buy a lot uh, like the coconut milk from this brand so I do like it I don't have any weird effects from it and uh i'm gonna try their yogurt see if it's good it's a little pricey it was like a dollar even with the 20 cents i think i still paid like almost a dollar 50 for this tiny little container so we'll see um this is my husband's mustard potato salad um we're gonna have sloppy joe's this week and he's gonna pair it with the potato salad and then I'm going to make some baked beans. I think that'll be for tomorrow. I'm off on Monday, so I tend to make a, diff a couple different dinners. Um, that way, my husband um, has something to eat over the course of the week. Um, so on that meal plan is going to be sloppy joes, potato salad, and baked beans. I think tonight what we're going to have, I don't think, I know. Tonight we're going to have... Um, fish tacos. Last night we had regular tacos. So this is for my daughter. I was making homemade ones. She didn't seem to like the texture of the ham very much. So I just went back to these. I mean, she doesn't, these do not, she doesn't eat these in one week. That does take her a few weeks to actually consume these um, for her lunches. They're very simple. And I mean, it's, it's about the same as if I was going to make take ham and throw it in a separate container and chop up the cheese. So yeah, that's for her lunches. Um, the lunches that she doesn't, you know, eat at school. So there are some days that she does prefer their lunch over a homemade one or brought, uh, one that she brings from home. So <clears throat> this is what my husband got here. It's some kind of different kind of ramen. This is chicken flavor. It looks really good. I don't know if all I think it comes with one of those packs with like the freeze dried veggies and stuff. Um, but yeah, he likes these um, anytime that he sees anything unique like a ramen 
um, noodle he always gets. This is what I really went to the store for. I cannot wait until our farmer's market for the season opens. It's on Thursdays. I'll send my husband there and he will go and get my farm fresh eggs. But in the meantime, we're going to do the Eglin's Best. I've been a little obsessed with eggs lately. I don't, I like to cook these and make like little hash, I guess a hash of some sort or a, not, it's kind of a deconstructed maybe omelet. I like to put all kinds of things in them. Today I used some chorizo, which I had in the freezer for a long time. It was one of those Kroger free Friday downloads and I knew I had to use it. I really did not like it. Um, the chorizo, it had a chemical smell to it when I was cooking it. I've never been a big fan of chorizo. I always think it's just way too greasy, oily or whatever. And um, anyways, it kind of did make me sick. So, but I do like these eggs. All right, so this is everything that we got from Kroger. All right, it's been about 30 bucks, believe it or not. Um, next, we're gonna go over Walmart. So, Walmart. Party size Cool Ranch Doritos. These actually do last us for about a month. So we don't really buy a whole lot of chips and that's no lie. Um, we do eat a lot of popcorn in this house, but um, we kind of wanted some Doritos to add to some of our sandwiches. These are actually for my daughter, not for me. Um, they're for my daughter and for my husband. So the next thing here is the beer battered 100% whole fillets, not minced, Gordon's. I love Gordon's um, frozen fish. I am allergic to seafood, um, well, shellfish and things. Um, so I don't eat a lot of seafood in my diet. But, um, you know, this has a hint of a fish taste. You know, it's, it, you know, it's not real. Um, I'm pretty sure it's not. So... But anyways, um, I don't mind this, and I thought that this would actually be a lot better than some people have been using, I noticed on uh, some YouTube videos, using fish sticks. So I thought, my husband picked up fish sticks yesterday. It was in my one haul. And um, I thought, well, I could probably chop those up and put them in a fish taco and make some slaw. Uh, I bought this uh, Asian salad, you know, those salad kits and um, from Walmart. And I was going to take that and make like a slaw with it and then put that on my tortilla and then a little fish cut up like little fish sticks. But I decided, you know, I do like the Gorton's um, fish products. So I thought I'd get that instead for myself. If my husband wants it, that's fine. If not, he can have the other. So got some hairspray. This will actually probably last me like two years because I don't use hairspray very much. I had a trial size of Tresemme for like, I don't know, a year or so, and I finally ran out. So this is the one that I got today. Flushable wipes, got a five pack of those. Um, got this candle, Wild Honeysuckle. It's the mainstays, the Walmart brand. It smells really good. It was like $4.98, almost five bucks. It's, and it smells really good, but it's a little pungent. I was going to put it on my burner and see, you know, what kind of throw it has. But, uh, yeah, it smells really good. Kind of goes with the, the season. So I really wanted that. Uh, next, I have some patches. I bought some gently used clothing at a uh, consignment sale yesterday. I also went to Justice and bought some clothes that were not very inexpensive um but the uh consignment shop the consignment sale that i went to uh, is like a, a mother's to mother type sale it only happens like once a year and they sell a lot of um clothes well one of the shirts that i bought i didn't notice had a like a little cut in it from i don't know it does it's not missing it's not missing any fabric it literally looks like it was cut with like scissors just a teensy tiny piece but it bothers me so I thought I'd take a piece of this light color here like the white um, cut out a tiny piece of it and iron it on the back inside of the my daughter's shirt to just so it just doesn't come apart I think there's probably an easier way to do that but um, 
she she probably won't wear it forever. So it, it'll at least last a couple couple um, washes or more. So anyway, that's what I got those for, and that's like a dollar seventeen, so it's pretty cheap. Um, I got these knee highs for work. Um, pair those with some of my slip-on tinnies um, that I wear a lot of um, at work, and also um, shoes like this. So I did buy a pair of these. I was actually surprised um, that they had such cute little shoes like this. I usually don't buy my shoes at Walmart because I never can find anything that looks cute. But these are a memory foam, it says. These were like 10 bucks. They actually look like real quality leather, even though they're not. But this is their new brand, that Time and True. They make some really cute clothes, that brand does. And I've been buying some stuff from there for work. And I have to say, I get a lot of compliments on the clothing and everything that I get from that brand. So just FYI. <clears throat> The other food items that I got from Walmart, I got this like shake and bake smoky barbecue, bought a lot of chicken breast. I think we'll have some of that probably, probably next Saturday. Um, these smiles mashed potato shaped, um, these have been around forever. Okay. Now my daughter was never really interested in them. But because now at her school, they call it emoji fries, she's all about them. So we decided we're going to get these and, um, you know, cook them for at her home. We're going to put them in her thermos and she can take them to school. But anyways, um, yeah, I sh we didn't have emojis back in the day when these first started coming out. So... Just called them the smiles, the smiley fries or whatever. Um, but now that emojis are a big thing and a big hit with kids, you know, that's kind of a seller for her. So even though they don't say it on there, that's what her school has labeled them at, as. And I know that that's what, they, what these are. So anyhow, so that's pretty much everything I got from Walmart. It's been about 49 bucks, believe it or not. Oh, and we got a watering can and did I I think I might have gotten a couple plants there because we did sh stop. I'm not going to show this haul. It's kind of boring. The one from Home Depot. I went, we went to Home Depot today and got some uh, tomatoes and peppers and some marigolds and stuff. So, But anyways, um, we do like a little small garden, even though we live in a condo. We do like tomatoes, peppers, and we have strawberries out there growing. We've had strawberries. They grow every year, but we, we planted some more plants just because uh last year they were looking kind of rough so we thought maybe they're they might not produce that much this year so anyways when those are done um I'll let you know I also have some herbs that I need to plant like now like today if I can um so I can show you that as well because I the items that I am actually going to use is is all from Dollar Tree I thought I'd give it a chance to a try because we usually I buy the full herb plants already made already you know done grown at the greenhouse but I'm gonna try my hand at this and I have a grow light in my kitchen and um, I bought these like little planter thingies from the Dollar Tree and these little cute little stakes with uh, like signs they're so adorable and I can take a sharpie and write like good you know this is rosemary cilantro whatever so I'm gonna try that I um, I'll show you the finished product when I'm done so this is the Asian market. As you can see, that's where we got this kind of junky food. But the Hello Pandas they sell at Costco. Um, they sell them at Five Below if you have those around. Um, any international market, we have a Jungle Gems here, an international market. And um, we went there not very long ago and I didn't make a haul video. I should have I kicked myself because that was a great, that would have been a great video. Anyways, we bought some of these there and I got the banana and chocolate ones. Um, I love the regular just chocolate cream inside. Um, I'm sure they have some kind of dairy in them, obviously, but yeah, it does say it contains milk, soy, and wheat. Um, I'll see how much this kills my stomach, but mostly it's just to take care of a chocolate craving. I am... I do try to eat a lot of dark chocolate, but um, sometimes I need 
something with like a crunch, like a cookie, and these are really good. But anyways, they don't have a whole lot of sugar in them. Well, at least what I can taste, they're not as sweet as a lot of cookies. Um, and again, they're super good. So if you've never tried them, go ahead. They're usually like a dollar everywhere. And these are the same. These are just a bigger pack. They're like $4.99 when you get the 10 individually packets. And these are the cookies filled with the strawberry cream. I've never had these, but I think they're probably just as good. I've had the, like I said, the banana and chocolate ones are excellent. And these, my husband and I had one of these and these are so delicious. They're pineapple flavor. They're kind of like a um, Fig Newton, except the outside is just a little like a like a stale fig newton kind of like where it's crunchy um the inside has pineapple like uh, well pineapple-ish taste um it is flavored pineapple um super good super super good but here's the ingredients on that pineapple cake is what they call them they're about 140 per cake there's only six of them that come in here these were like a dollar something um you know, they, they're very good. I could see these being served with like some tea. Um, they come individually packaged. A lot of packaging, a lot of packaging. So like you've already got like these little trays and then, you know, they're a pretty big bar. They're very, very cute, very pretty. Again, a lot of packaging. So, but that's 140 calories. It doesn't seem like a lot, right? Um, but these are super delicious though. I have to say, if you ever see these any, um, or have an Asian market near you, it's worth going in there and checking out. Um, their pricing is usually a lot cheaper, especially like vegetables. Um, the, the, this Asian market though, that we go to is not the nicest. So I can't say that I trust buying any vegetables there. I did buy some mushrooms from there. Um, some can't remember what kind they were. They were expensive. And I got them home and I just felt really weird about eating them. Um, they had a very pungent smell, which probably is normal for mushrooms, but I'm not used to that. And uh, it kind of freaked me out. <laughs> not going to lie. Not going to lie. It kind of freaked me out. So I didn't eat them. And um, we went in there today, like I said, and they had water from their lobster tanks just leaking all over the place and not one person, not one care in the world was given. No, nobody cared. So, and it smelled real mildewy. So I'm not, yeah, it did not look very good. And they need to put, put a lot of work into that building. But anyways, that's what I got from the Asian market. Oh, one last thing. What I got from, I don't know if I showed this to you, so I apologize. This everything but bagel seasoning. So I bought this from, and I could be wrong, but I bought this from Trader Joe's. And I don't go to Trader Joe's very often because it's just a, it, ours is very small. And um, I feel like I'm claustrophobic. If I don't go there as soon as they, as soon as they open in the mornings, I just, I just don't want to go. It's just people are everywhere. And they're cut, some of the people there can get very rude. I mean, it's just... I mean, not the workers, but some of the clientele. And um, I just don't prefer to go there unless it's early morning. And um, so, but I do buy a lot of seasonings from Trader Joe's. When I go there, I always stock up on certain things. This everything but bagel seasoning is also sold at Walmart. I mean, it looks like the same packaging. It's glass jar. Um, it just, you know, kind of basic... Uh, packaging and like, like the Trader Joe's looks like this. I keep the bottles because um, I do like these glass bottles and I like to take um, in when I get something else, like put them in here because um, I buy a lot of bulk seasonings. So this one's still, I, I ran out of this not very long ago, so I'm still waiting to clean it out and use some of my bulk seasoning in it but and take the label off. But anyways, that's what Trader Joe's looks like. I mean, it's nearly the same type of container. Literally is. It's just got a different label. And um, 
it's probably got the same kind of ingredients. It's hard to see with this. Um, this isn't the ingredients. It's kind of like this is the one from Walmart: sesame seeds, salt, dehydrated garlic, dehydrated onion, black sesame seeds, and poppy seeds. Sesame seeds, sea salt flakes, dried minced garlic, dried minced onion, black sesame seeds, and poppy seeds. Basically the same thing, except they're, they're saying minced. Um, but anyways, I use a lot of this. And um, my husband doesn't care for it, but I use it on, I, I love avocados. So I love to put this in avocados. And lately I've been taking my um, everything but bagel seasoning um, concoction in my avocado mixing it together and then putting it in eggs and it takes away that need for because i like butter in my eggs i know it's kind of weird butter and cheese but it takes away that need for that richness from the butter and the cheese and um it's so good it's so good like the avocados are avocados are so buttery it just it enhances the eggs i think and this seasoning just makes everything better I don't eat a lot of bread, so it kind of, I can have that flavor from like a bagel, but not the actual bagel. But yeah, this is it for my haul. Um, I, I spent probably over a hundred and something if I add it in Home Depot. And, uh, but you know, you'll have that. Sometimes you just gotta, get some of the personal items out of the way and uh, some of the odds and ends that you forget from the store. That's it. That's all I'm going to do this week as far as the store, going to the stores. Um, I'm going to try to do some more videos, different kinds. Um, I have one coming up that I'm excited about, like I mentioned yesterday, and uh, we'll kind of go from there. So you guys have a great rest of your week. Or, well, today's Sunday, so a great week ahead. And um, please like and subscribe and share. Um, I'd like to continue to grow my channel. And like I said, uh, get a little bit better with, uh, with the videos. I figured out how to edit a little bit better. Um, so I'll do a little bit more of that going down the road. But you guys have a good week. See you later.